in here again. We've been taking on all the Marine Scotland listening devices, but <coughs> this one here at Orton's in six feet of water, so I'm gonna have to maybe swim for this one. So the other receivers have been fairly easy to take in. It's just been a wire cable coming back to the bank and a case of dragging the anchor in and jumping in with the waders and pulling it out. But this one doesn't have a wire coming into the bank and it's in six feet of water. So um, it's somewhere between us and this boat, I think. your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Perfect. No wire strop on that one of course. No. Hi folks, Richard here. So that's me. That's me back at my vehicle now. I've um, I've been diving in the river spate today, uh, not with the tank on there, just with a mask and snorkel, uh, rescuing one of the acoustic listening devices for the Mr. Salmon project. I was suited up anyway, finished up work, and uh, come here to the river. Come here to the river. On. Uh, now you can't really see the river from there, but uh, you can probably hear it. Um, so yeah, this is uh, the mouth of the Congolus. 
River Congo centres the river on here and we're probably, I don't know, 30 something miles up the river on, up above the mouth of the River Livet. So this of course runs down into the River Spey. So I didn't take the metal detector with me, I was um, suited up anyway and I just fancied using a tank and getting a look through this pool. We've been catching quite a lot of sea trout on the river here and um, seen a lot of fish running at the estuary over the last two or three days so I thought I'd come up here thought I'd come up here and get a proper look so um, I did see six sea trouts or half a dozen sea trout at the tail of the pool so I went down before I was recording of course and uh, see me I think uh, uh, the shadow of me on the bank scared them away downstream so uh, that was a bit unfortunate wasn't anything else further up but if there was it uh, disappeared before I got there I think it's probably better with a mask and snorkel when you're looking for fish I think the uh, I think the bubbles maybe put them off slightly off the tongue, so... Um, yeah, so that's me finished up here. I'll make a little video when I get home, edit something together. Thanks very much for watching. Alright guys, cheers, we're out. Hiya guys, sorry about the angle of the camera throughout this video, but especially in this early part, I obviously knocked it on the mask and it's at the wrong sort of angle so uh, not the best view for you guys sorry Cheers for watching guys, not the most exciting video, no bangers, eh, no treasure found, maybe next time.